Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Cisco WebEx recently released a bunch of new features, some of which are my voice only, people focus, and a new look and feel of the web interface. Specifically, though, we're going to be talking about Slido. That's a new enhancement that was recently released as well. And we're going to talk about how it helps you engage with all of your meeting participants in a new way. Let's go! we're back and we are talking about Slido. Now before we jump into Slido, let's talk a little bit about what Slido is. Slido is an application add-on in the WebEx platform which enables you to engage with your meeting participants in a richer way. So you can run Q&A through it, you can capture ideas, and you can also do polls. And we're going to cover all of those items. In addition to that, you can share your screen that shows all the results, the dashboard of what's happening in the Slido application. And if your participants want to engage from their mobile device, they can do that as well. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and click on apps. And when we do that, it's going to pull up the app pane in WebEx, as you see here. I'm going to click Slideo, and you will see that I already have started some polls that we're going to talk about in more detail. In the top, you'll see polls, Q&A, and ideas. And each of these tabs have the ability to engage the participants in multiple ways. We're going to start with polls. Now, polls can be things like a word cloud, multiple choice. You can do a quiz. We can do a rating poll. We can do a text poll. That's just like people responding in free form text. We can also do rankings. So we can put things in order or have your participants rank things in order. And we'll go through all of those right now. So let's start with the word cloud. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to click on this word cloud. And, and before I actually get into the word cloud to talk about this, these are things that I've already set up. If I wanted to create a new one, this little plus icon, I could click that and I could build one out. And you'll see that I've got multiple choice, word cloud, quiz, rating, open text, and ranking. And we're going to go through each of those individually. But um, instead of creating a new one, we've already got one here. I'm going to click edit so you can see what we've got in here. We've got what ideas do you have for the holiday event? And we're allowing multiple answers. We are going to enable the profanity filter and we're going to set a character limit of 25. Once I do that, I'm going to click save. And when I'm ready to launch it to find participants, I can click the play button. So I'm going to click the play button now. And what you'll see is we've got holiday cheer, we've got prizes, red, Santa, smiles, and cars. So, so now that we've seen the word cloud, let's jump in and edit it again so that you can see what happens if I disable the profanity filter. I'm going to hit save and we're going to hit play again. And you'll notice we got butt and poop that popped in here. Those are kind of light profanity, but anyway, it, it does filter them. And, and so you can see down below um, they're filtered. And uh, so that filtering does actually work. And if I wanted to, I could just click delete here and remove them from showing in the word cloud. And you can see that they're, they're gone here. So you have that ability if you don't disable or enable the profanity filter or if somebody posts something that you just really don't agree with being publicly out there. So I'm going to stop that. One thing I want to point out before we get into the next feature of polls is the ability to present Slideo in a new tab. So what does that mean? Well, when I click that, you're going to notice it's going to pull up a web page. Now, this web page is almost going to be like a dashboard for this particular meeting. Now, what it didn't do is when I clicked on this, it didn't prompt me for the code. Um, and that's probably because it's been cached and we were doing some testing. So what you would see in a real meeting is you're going to need a code. And you can grab this code here um, that I'm showing here on the bottom. And you would just paste that into the web interface. But what this allows you to do is I could go back into this WebEx and I could click share and I could pick the Google Chrome and I'm now sharing for the participants to see this dashboard of things. And so when I go back here to the apps and I'll pull up Slideo, I'm going to minimize my video here so you can see that a little easier. And if I start this word cloud, 
you'll notice as soon as I start it, this screen is going to change and you're going to see the word cloud. And the participants are also going to see this word cloud shared as content. So if they maybe don't aren't looking at it on the right hand side, it'll bring their attention right to actually the Slideo results. And so if I stop that, what you'll notice what it's going to do is bring up the ideas area. And on the right hand side, I've just got this idea running where it says meeting ideas and people could just go in there and type. Additionally, you'll notice this QR code, and if you have participants that have mobile devices, they could scan the QR code and engage with the content from their mobile device as well. All right, so back to the polls. So we talked about the word cloud, now let's move on to multiple choice. So I'm gonna edit this one as well, and you'll see that I've got what is your favorite color, I've selected blue as the correct answer, we've got some options here, you have the ability to mark or not mark the correct answer, we're going to save that, hit play, and you're going to see the answers are going to be populated and on the screen behind me, it's going to show the participants what are the answers that are coming in. So that is a great feature. We're going to stop that one and now we're going to move on to quiz. Now quiz is a little different than multiple choice. Maybe you don't want to share the answers with everybody. Maybe you want to set a timer. You can do all of those things with a quiz. I'm going to edit it. And you'll see that we've got three questions here. What is one plus one? The answer is two. We've enabled a timer and we're showing on the leaderboard. And we've got three questions here um, and we're gonna hit save. What happens is when I go to hit play, it's going to show me the results because we've already done the, the quiz. And it's gonna show the leaderboard in the main screen here behind me. And so what you can do is once I hit start quiz, it's going to show then the timer that's counting down and the responses that came in. And then if I hit next, it's going to show the correct answer. And if I hit next again, it's going to take me to the, the leaderboard. So you can kind of see how the quizzes work. It shows the leaderboard who got the right answer. This would be great if you were having a test in, uh, in a meeting and you wanted to actively track the answers and control the answers and how fast people could answer questions. So that is the quiz feature. The next feature we're gonna to go to is the rating poll. Now this is if you wanted to ask a question and rate it. How is the meeting in our example here? So I'm gonna click edit and you will see that I've got a question here. How fun is this meeting? I'm gonna give it the ability to put 10 stars because that's all we do is 10 star meetings around here. And when I hit play, you will see that one person in our group thought it was one star. I'm not saying any names. And one person thought it was a 10 star meeting, which it absolutely was. So you can see that everyone in the, in the meeting gets to see the screens and all is well. I'm gonna stop that, um, just showing that rating poll. All right, so open text poll. If I wanna hit play here on an open text poll, I could say, tell me a story of your 10th birthday and we can see somebody was so alone, that's kind of kind of dark. I think I'm gonna delete that one. We don't wanna hear about that. And I can delete it and no one will see what happened on their 10th birthday. So I'm gonna stop that and there we go. There you have it. That was uh, an open text poll. I'm gonna click edit so you can see what that looks like. Tell me a story of your 10th birthday, allow multiple answers, and it's just open text. People can freeform write things in. All right, so the last thing we're gonna cover is rankings. So I'm gonna go over here to the rankings area and I'm just gonna click edit. And you're gonna notice it says rate the following, skydiving, long beach walk, bike ride, and drinking at a bar until you fall over. Now, we have this option down here to randomize the options so that every time somebody sees them, there'll be a little bit different order. Um, we can set a required number of options to rank so that they rank all of them. Um, in this case, we're not requiring that and we are randomizing the options. So if I hit save on that and hit play, what you'll notice is on the background here, the content that I'm sharing will switch to the rankings. And as the individuals responded, based on what, how many ranks they got, uh, it, will, it will categorize them. And so there's a tie between a, a long beach walk and drinking at a bar until you fall over. So the type of group that we have likes to party and likes to walk on a beach. I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna cover the Q&A real quick. The Q&A over here, it enables you to, or your participants to ask questions. You can archive them, you can reply to them. 
and you can also edit or delete them. If somebody wrote something you don't want that question asked or whatever, you could delete it, you could archive it, you could respond to it. So pretty simple Q&A. So ideas, we've got uh, meeting ideas currently running, and as it's running, the Slido webpage on the back shows all of the ideas as they're coming in, and also there's an ability to give them a like, and based on the likes, they'll move up in the list. So the more individuals that put ideas out there, it allows people to respond and just kind of like those ideas, and, and the, uh, the best ideas will kind of rise to the top. Now, if I hit stop on the ideas, what you'll see on the Slido uh, web page here is it's going to bring up the Q&A. So if I stop that, the Q&A will appear. So if people are asking questions, those are going to show up. And so you have the ability to show polls, Q&A, and ideas. And it's ranked in that order. So polls are priority number one. So if I have an active poll, it's not going to show the ideas. If ideas are active, it's going to show the ideas over the Q&A. And if no ideas are available, it's going to show the Q&A. So that covers Slido in a nutshell. I think if you're hosting a meeting and you wanted the participants to engage with the content, you wanted to pull them, you want to be able to engage with them in a Q&A format, capturing ideas, all of those things are great in adding to the experience of a meeting and making sure you're getting that engagement from the audience. It's much better to have some feedback than just sitting there and giving a, a, a meeting or a presentation and not having any engagement. It makes it less, well, engaging. So if I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I want to engage more, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.